YouTube, it's me, Garden Fan, and today I am recording the Lowe's Cup Series. Now, uh, I am, well, we are here at CRLO, and actually, I have to say, uh, it's kind of surprising that we've been going for half a year already. Uh, I mean, like, seriously, seriously, I don't know where these six months went off to, uh, because uh, just like it sure did feel like six months, and uh, at least not for me really. Uh, so yeah. Uh, though to be fair, I uh, and with this one I was planning on on uh, maybe doing it with a friend, and however they had too much work today, so yeah. They were unable to show up for today's race, uh, uh, so I wish them best of luck on their homework. All right, and for the battles today, we have Skull Tricks and Jordan Diesel. So speak of my friend, and he's in a battle today. Uh, so, uh, that's kind of how it is, and we shall be reaching speeds upwards of two hundred. Hundred at this road course. As, as, I know. Surprised to that we're at a road course today. Uh, and I will probably hop out off of Team Sleek when I get when we get to the caution. Um, uh, and yes, I do be when we get to the caution because I did not expect to go uh twenty laps without a caution. Um. And Jay Jefferson, and he's a so far he's been able to keep keep up uh, on that. He's been able to keep the lead uh, pretty well so far. Uh, however, Ethan Deal with it did also seems to gain a run a little bit. Yeah, uh, however, he will go up into the middle. Uh. Uh, TJ Hanley again, a little bit of the advantage, and Joshua Tor- uh, Wait, no, Sebastian Torres. Uh, sorry, I was- I was thinking of somebody else earlier. Wow, um, what the heck? The leader's just going, um, breezing by everybody. Uh, what the heck are the leaders all on? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's running this in Sinoco Fuel, but seriously, it seems like the leaders are on something else completely entire- well, entirely. Uh, and then it also seems like their cars are on something else entirely as well. Uh, Sebastian Torres seems to be getting, uh, using that draft from, um, Jay Jefferson pretty well. Um... Uh, so we should see see him bat battling a little bit uh later. Uh -huh. Hmm. And in the team six server that I'm currently in, I am I am in the do not disturb thing just because like, hey, I don't really want to be be disturbed while I'm recording. So, uh. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that would be like, uh, kick, uh, react to that. Now, uh, I would be tempted to kick them after I've, uh, after I've told them, but, uh, I would probably give them a warning, uh, and nothing else. Uh, because they do have some, something else up, uh, uh, but they're not, well, I do have, of my odd and there goes Sebastian Torres is and and yes he pushes up uh Jay Jefferson however that also uh, drastically kills his speed and uh, so I guess that that's what happened with everybody else like pretty much whatever where somebody else was trying to make a move they either failed uh numerously uh or they succeeded. Uh, so it seems like the leader is where you want to be. 
Uh, at least at this track, because once you block somebody, they, then they go go and have a serious speed reduction. Um, and though to be fair, then they actually get get like a drastically high thing. So. Um. Uh, so this one, I, and I actually wouldn't mind running online, um, if possible, uh, cause just like I actually did figure out, I did have the wrong password apparently, and, uh, so, yeah, um, uh, like, cause I actually connected for, like, one of the fun races, as, and then had, uh, which they had a different password. Uh, and I was able to connect. And, and that's going to be a killer for Sebastian Torres. As he could not get by, by him fast enough. And so he'll have to drop back to third. Maybe out uh, of the top three. Can he keep a, the draft? Uh, is the question. Um, um, it doesn't seem like he's really keeping that draft, so unfortunately, unfortunately Sebastian Torres is, is out of contention. And this may come down to pit stops, actually, now. Uh, so. But you never know. Um, uh, they could have, like, a serious gap, though. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, I can't, like, I kind of find these strikes interesting, but I also kind of hate the road courses, just because, like, a lot of times the leader wins. Um, so it's kind of just like, are you the leader? No. Okay, good luck continue for a second. Uh, because just like, I don't know why, but Always, I have, I have yet to see a the winner be somebody that wasn't on pole, except that one that's gonna bank, in which then pretty much everybody crashes out. Uh, so yeah, like yeah, one that's gonna bank at this point. I've seen like, I would say. Every way that you could possibly crash out. Uh, like, I am not even joking. Like, I have... Like, I have read it so many times that... that I am just like... Okay, so, what way would they use this time? One, two, three, four, five. Or is there six ways? Yes. Hold on, I'll probably be quiet... Quiet as I'm trying to remember all the ways I've seen. Yep, Sebastian Torres is out. He's out of contention until pit stops. Uh, so it's down to Jonathan King and Jay Jefferson. And which actually, I I don't think that either has won yet. Uh, I could be wrong on that though. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, so. No, I'm not. Uh, so, yeah, I guess kind of spoiler alert for last four. Uh, well, yeah, last four, because now you guys know know that neither Jonathan King or uh, G. Justin has won either of them. I think he got close, uh, like, a couple races ago and nothing else. Oh, uh, but then somebody else won. And Jonathan King... Uh, did Jonathan King get it? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, no, he's got another corner. Uh, now... Uh, Jay Jefferson, wow, he's got a very amazing car. It, it seems like it's going to... Like, whoever beats them will beat them due to a pit stop, unfortunately. And, speak of pit stops, now we get them. 
So, they'll have to make a two more pit stops. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, anybody staying out? Uh, Turf Remains going down. Um, okay, I'm just very far behind. Oh, something probably happened to Sebastian Torres then. Um, or did he go down early? I think he went down early. So then the question would be, did he, uh, well, is he ahead or not? Uh... Uh, I had a Brian Fox, uh, behind JT Hanley, though. So, new leader, Jonathan King. Uh, however, Jay, Jay Jefferson will probably be trying to hunt down, uh, Jonathan King for the lead. Uh, the only problem is just that you won't have any help whatsoever to do it. Yeah. And... So, yeah. Um. Well. Well, I'm just... Well, at this point, I'm just... Uh, I'm just gonna hope that pretty much I can still do IGP after those. Uh... Cause just like I still uh, have to do, like I still am on an IGP day, so. Um. Uh, oh. Uh, wow, three seconds behind. And. So yeah, I think that Jonathan King has this, it's unless pit stops have something to say. Uh. He had a pretty good car at the start, because, uh, the only question is, can he, does he still have that good, good of car, or did Pit Stop screw him over? I think Pit Stop screwed him over, because now, uh, uh, TJ Han Hanley just passed him, him for a second, uh, well, for third, actually. He also seems to be struggling to keep that draft now. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he. He's really performing, like, better. Uh, and I think he just dropped off. Off a uh, thing again. Oh, that's that's uh, kind of Matthew as I was saying. First thing there, I was thinking, wait, how did I get uh, that far ahead? Uh, or get ahead that many people? Oh, uh, uh, so yeah. Mm. Uh, hmm. and TJ Hanley did. I was like, yeah, JT, well, JT Hanley, Lee wasn't able to get out through in time. Uh, however, that will open up the door for JT, uh, sorry, for TJ Hanley. Well, it opened up the door for J, J Jefferson uh, until uh, Sebastian Torres came in and started helping JT Hanley. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, that was that's kind of interesting. Um, uh, oh, whoops. And Ethan deals with it. Oh, sorry. Wait. Oh, they've pretty much caught up to G to Jonathan King. 
Though, to be fair, they have had the draft, so... Uh, it's not really that surprising that they they were able to catch up t to him. Um, at least it's not that surprising to me. Uh, so yeah. Um, in all honesty, I probably sh there's in all honesty, I. I have so much to record in all honesty. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, I should have a bunch of new content uh, coming out soon. Um, um, and that will not help help uh, Ethan deal with it. Uh, and now Sebastian Torres is back up into the lead. Uh, it, and here I thought uh, that Jay Jefferson would be the card to beat. Uh, um, it seems now that maybe be Jonathan King that would be the card to beat. Uh, but uh, it's honestly kind of hard to tell. I mean, like, still, oh, we have half the race to go, and Sebastian Torres uh, will head that. Down, um, um, I think he pitted on, like, like, he may have pitted on that five. I was, but, you never know. Also, hmm. Mm. Um. Sorry, I don't know why, but the these races, but the road courses usually end up being like, uh, turning into like some of the more boring races. Uh. In all honesty, I you, I thought that this would be like a little bit better of racing, um, but I guess not. Uh, uh, I mean, like, I just don't, I just don't know uh, what even went on. Uh, so, oh uh, yeah. Oh. Mm. And that will screw up Ethan deal with it. Uh the apron is, is really killer at this type of track though. Uh I mean once you hit the apron it's just like drastic speed loss. Uh I think that may be like that at Daytona. Uh, but I could be wrong that it could be like it could be a little bit less at Daytona uh, but you never but you never know uh, like seriously uh. Uh. Uh, so so it looks like it's down to these two for the time being. And, um, and jo Brian Fox gets a little bit of gap. And no, he will lead a lap actually. Because Jonathan King will now head down. And so now we're going to get a little bit of interesting insurgents. Is Brian Fox maybe trying to stretch it all the way, way to lap 4? 14 so you'll have to so you wouldn't have to pit again and however that may be a risky move of you you never really can tell until oh uh, right at the end but uh yeah oh uh, uh so
Uh, and if you, if you guys are wondering why I pretty much, I, like, with one recording session, and I did, I am uploading it within, with an hour, uh, like, uh, uh, like, with that one, uh, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, uh, I, I, I wonder why, I, why that was some of the things. Like nobody pretty much said lines for somebody. Uh, like in all honesty, I kind of, uh, I kind of wondered what or what people would come up with for lines, and and it's just because like we had like such weird lines, no matter what. Like, uh, okay, Charles went we'll down and right with him. Um, um, so Sebastian Torres seems to be, uh, uh, it seems like he will be a next one, one to race. Uh, question is, can he pa pass, as uh, uh, Brian Fox? Uh, I know for a fact he's pitted, uh. So I don't. Have, so we don't have to worry about uh, whether or not he has in the fuel. Um. As uh, he's getting passed by Ethan, deal with it. Where is Brand Fox? Behind him. That was the pass. Uh, that was the battle for the lead. And so. Uh, new leader Sebastian Torres. As, as, however, I also don't think that Sebastian Torres was one either. Er, uh, so, yeah, a lot. In all honesty, a lot of people haven't won. What? No, never mind. I, uh, I'm an idiot. He won at, at race 15. So, yeah. Uh, all of his, if he won a race 15, he obviously won before, so, he, he obviously has at least one win, and, 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 so, yeah, and Ethan deals with it, uh, oh, whoa, he didn't pit, actually, uh, so then, and Ethan deal with it will lead another lap. Uh, uh, and this would not be his first win either. Uh, uh, the only reason why he would need to win more is to try and catch up to Jonathan King in all honesty. Because uh, whoever is in that 10th place spot, if he's within and 500 of them, he's he catches up to like he's in the chase. Uh, right now, uh, uh, due to him um, winning at M and M's, 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 and Bristol, he has one of the highest priorities of getting to the chase. However, uh, he also needs he just needs to have the qualification. For it, uh, if he can get into the 500, if he could get to the 500 range, and provide, like he could actually kick out one of the people that had one, one thing, well, one win, um, and however, he, he's pretty far behind. Like I think he's he's like 800 back. Yeah, he's at least 800 back. Uh, so yeah, maybe 900 actually. Yeah, it looks like 900 back. Uh, well, a little bit over 900 back. So if he can catch up 900, and he would be in the chase. Uh, oh, sorry, four. If he can catch up, uh, 
about 400, he would be close to the chase and nothing else. Else. So, yeah, I still would not give him the points, though. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, so. Pretty much who I'm taking as the chase people. The top 10. And then four people that have wins. Well, one win or more. That are within 10 of... Well, 500 of 10th. And we almost had trouble with Brian Fox back there. Uh, and the reason why I say from 10th is because at this point, with how far ahead the leader is, we would get very few people into the chase besides top 10. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but uh, just let me know. No, um, the rules will stay pretty much as they are, are until next season. Um, and and also do remember that I will still give priority to people that comment more. Or uh, so. Um. Like, basically, the more active that I see you are, or so, like, that means the closer to actually uh, uh, when the race was posted that I see you, um, uh, then the more likely you are to get a ride. I, I'd, I mean, frankly, it, like, I will, will, personally uh like i would not uh mind in the slightest to give up to my give up my right for somebody that's like really active to be in the series uh because uh, i mean like seriously i will like i do like oh uh, like uh, like running um uh, was uh being a part of my own series is uh, just because then I can see how I'm doing, doing then maybe laugh at, at myself. Oh, I guess. Uh, it's like if I'm doing bad. Um. So I guess if we're doing doing another set of pit stops, uh, the question will be though, can, uh, who can make it, if anybody, because if they can. If there's only like one person that can make it from this point, it would be really good for them because then they can go, go and well, win. Um, because uh, they wouldn't have to make another pit stop. Uh, if James Henry had was able to have kept that place up, okay kept up that point. Right? That would have been extremely good for him because then that would have stopped Jonathan King from get, um, heading down. Brian Fox uh, is back, will return to the lead with two laps to go. Uh, the only question is can he uh, can he keep leading for the last few laps? Uh, in all honesty, uh, these will probably be like some of the fastest points I've ever done. Mainly because I will probably not have, I'll probably barely have time to record, to type in, well, to change the points, points to what's supposed to be, and then do it. Like, uh, a lot of times I just change what's, like, different, so. Uh,. Like, pretty much the only thing that I really change race position and race position last week points. I mean, it's the change thing. Um, and then just like the stats. That's uh, pretty much whatever you see on the right side of it. Uh, 
That is all functions. And so just like I just changed one thing thing and we'll do it calculate it automatically. Uh so sometimes it does uh show uh how much of an idiot I am. Um white flag is out. Uh does Brian Fox need to pit? Uh that is the question. And and I don't think he's won actually. Uh there's Red Stover No, he's not won. And um, he has not won since the first attempt at Atlanta. And yes I know it says JT Hanley won that. But in all honesty, JT Hanley was not the first winner of that. Uh, uh, like the only reason why JT Hanley, uh, like JT Hanley is probably thinking that nobody voted because now he's in the because he's now in the Oscar race for next season. Because I am serious, nobody voted on Atlanta. Uh. Uh, and I just t t attempt to because hey, my drivers did better. Er, uh, and plus there was then there was one person that came in, and and he won the first attempt, and Brian Fox will we will win at CRL. Uh. Uh. Um, and Charles Sanford are will take second. Wow, everybody was so freaking far behind. He destroyed everybody, like seriously. Uh. Um. So I guess so. Now it's just waiting for everybody to finish. Uh, hmm. Really, I'm kind of surprised that I did not finish last. <laughs> uh, So Trip Tremaine just barely finished out of, of Doge Wow. Jordan, hurry up! Hurry up, Jordan! Like, seriously, you freaking need to finish. You need to finish so we can all go home. Thank you. Uh, thank you for finally finishing, Jordan. Now we can all go home, Tangler. Uh, even though I'm already home. <laughs> and so. Oh. And the official standings ends are Brian Fox in first, er, is followed by Charles Sanford, Jonathan King, and James Henry, Kyle Matthews, O's, Ethan, deal with it, with it, uh, J.T. Hanley, oh, sorry, J. J. Jefferson, sorry, uh, J. Jefferson, and Sebastian Torres as Brad Stover, or Cole Deaver, or Zachary Fitzwater, or TJ Hanley, JT Hanley. Uh, so, like, the Hanleys were together. Or Black Reaper, Kev Shear, me, Kelly Lee, Skull Tricks, Joshua Osborne, Trevor Jermaine, and Doge Wow, uh, uh, Jordan Diesel, uh, and which. I did say happy birthday to him um, yesterday since this is like like the day after his birthday. Um, and then James Qualls. Uh, so, uh, congrats to you, Ryan Fox. 
Ox, and I will see everyone for the points. Okay, so here are the points. Uh, it's and the points layer curses apparently, apparently taking me as its next victim. Um. Um. However, you never know. Uh, Charles could be uh, coming into that curse is really soon. And apparently now, now with that, Kev Shears on the bubble, oh uh, for the for the lead, uh, uh, well for the final chase slot. Uh, so you just gonna hope how to hope that Ethan deals that doesn't get to five hundred back from currently Jordan, um, cause just like. Right now, how it would be would be, uh, like, Sebastian Torres, uh, Ethan deals with it if he was available, uh, then Brian Fox, then Qualls, then, well, Qualls, uh, then Kev here, uh, and then finally Brad Stover, since the rest are already in. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, now I remember that, like, he's far out. Like, I was thinking just, like, wait, if he fall, like, isn't Catcher, like, already out, technically? But then I remembered. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, he's currently out of the chase. Uh, the reason why I'm saying 500 from 10th is it gives people a, a little bit of leeway. Uh, however, if these two, if these guys eyes do do well enough before the chase to catch up, which frankly I don't foresee that they will because like. We're current. We just finished race as uh, uh, twenty five, so we're heading into race twenty six. Uh, so, so like, they have fifteen races to catch up. Uh, so like, it is probably doable to catch up. Uh. Well, actually, let me check uh, if it's doable. Um, uh, yeah, it's doable. Uh, so yeah, they just need to average catching up. Uh, wait, no. Never mind. What I just did was wrong. Uh, wait. No. Never mind. Five hundred would catch them up. Uh, or at least catch up Ethan deal with it. So, like Ethan deal with it as long as he gets thirty th averages thirty three more than whatever tenth is, he should be good. Um, so, yeah, it's not, it's not impossible, well, actually, uh, for these guys to catch up. Now, I don't think it's highly likely that they will catch up, uh, but still, um, uh, you never know, you never know, um, oh, uh, so. Uh, I, I mean, like, uh, seriously, but I think that that's basically it. The battle is going to next week. Why do I not have a battle, battle sign on Brian Fox? I have no idea. Uh, they're basically, uh, Joshua Osborne, Arn, and Skulltrix for 8th. Jordan Diesel and Brian Fox Ox uh, for 
All right, 10th. Not like that one truly matters. I mean, like... Yes, it's a battle for the a uh, chase slot. However, they both already have chase slots, so it's not technically a battle. Uh, uh, and then uh, for twelfth, there's Qualls and Black Reaper. Uh, then I don't. Th see anybody else really. Uh I think that that would be about it. Uh so uh I guess I would do it. Uh so please like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the race. Click the bell if you'd want to see more races from me or notify be notified when uh races come up. And I will see you guys next time.